I came up in stand-up where you learn to kind of, you deliver it as yourself, and as authentic as you can be to yourself is how good you're going to become as a stand-up, how unique you can be. You came up as an actor and an improvisation uh, improvisational yeah, never genius. Yeah, never did, not genius, so never, never, never did stand-up at all. But always wore, even on The Daily Show, some sort of veneer of character or affect. Yeah. Did that for a long time. Did it in a way nobody had ever done it. Like that, yeah. And on the Colbert Report, rendering that character in real time, like a supercomputer, like nobody could believe that you were able to pull that off. What was it like to then pull off all of the character, all of the facades, and feel, did you feel vulnerable sharing? All the characters you played were incredibly opinionated. When you first came out here, the vulnerability you felt expressing opinions that people knew that they could peg to you, how hard was that? That was one of the challenges. Mm -hmm. One of the challenges that, oh, if well, I say it, it's really me saying it, not a character. You, can't, you don't have the protection of the mask. Yes. Um, which I worked so hard to never let go at the old show. Like, I think I've told you before, before I walked down on stage, every night on the old show, I'd slap myself in the face hard, twice. And the rule was I had to slap myself hard enough to regret having done it. Because <laughs> I knew, like, tonight, like, don't drop the mask. You've worked so hard. It's been 10 years. Don't <laughs> drop it tonight. You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, yes. got it, okay? Yes. And then I'd walk out, like, okay, because there's no other take on this. So I'd go do it. Here, first coming out here, A, I didn't know who I was. I mean, I know who I am as a, as a human being. And so my wife, Evie, I'd have her sit in uh, chair five rows back over there. Mm -hmm. For the first month, she sat there because I'd go, oh, oh, I'm married to her because my character wasn't married to her. Right. My character was married to a woman named Lorraine. Yes. And it was not a happy relationship. No. So well, I would go out. A lot of great breakup songs. Though. Exactly. So I would look at her and go, okay, I'm her husband. This is me. I'm me. You know, I'm their dad. I'm her husband. But I was completely uncomfortable standing out there and just telling jokes. We didn't really do a proper monologue for six months, something like that, for six months. Do you remember what moment allowed you to confidently step into who you really are hosting this show and when it happened? Uh, there, there were several, because there's different aspects of the show. There's, like, there's a couple different shows here. Mm -hmm. I mean, the monologue is one thing. Desk is a slightly different, and then the interviews are a totally different beast, in right. a way. Um, for the interviews, I got there a little bit quicker, though not consistently. When, when Joe Biden was on, and Joe Biden... Yes. Um, really, only I, my real self, could have received what Mr. Biden was willing to share with me and with the audience. Two Catholics that had dealt with terribly painful losses. Ex exactly. And when he left, I turned, I turned to Tom over there, and I said, that nice old man just gave me my show. Because I know that there are times when I absolutely have to be myself. And, and that was something to hold on to for, well, for the six months before we figured the out. Right. And then... Um, By the way, a beautiful night to watch. And I yeah, knew it was lovely. leading up to it. It was one of those things where I just, I was waiting for the two of you to coalesce like that. Yeah, it was a real privilege. And, uh, and then... Well, certainly, certainly when Chris Lick came on, he said, you guys are so good at responding so quickly to what just happened. W what if you just did a m monologue that was about that every night? And I went... Uh, I, I, I'm Satirical not, news. I know. I said, I'm not going to do a monologue where I do one setup, one punchline. I hate that. I'm not going to do that. And he goes, do as many jokes on any subject as you want. Just do the thing that you seem to like the most. And I went, there's a crazy idea. <laughs> Enjoy do the, doing the show. Uh, honest to God, because when you first come over to do a show like this, you think, oh, I have to do it totally differently. I remember I said to you, we were about to open, and you came over, and you said, so how do you feel? And I said, well, man, I just... I mean, good. I feel good. I like what we're going to do. But, you know, what, you said? I said, I haven't found something to replace the monologue. And you went, oh, so after 60 years of there being <laughs> late shows, in the six weeks you've been thinking about, like, doing the show, you haven't replaced the most recognized form of something that has existed for 60 years? Let me years? just explain. In my defense, I'm a bit of a <laughs> <laughs> And I really thought... <laughs> Because the whole objective, because they're totally different beasts. Like right. the old show, you know, that was, but we were trying to do something that hadn't been done before. Right. And here, what I've discovered is I can have so much fun doing an old form, yes. but with our flavor.
And so I realized, like, oh, I'll just go to figure out what my monologue was, which was a difficult uh, trip for me because I'd never done stand-up. Right. I had to get used to just staring at a camera and telling jokes as myself. But the live shows are really what did it for us. We started doing live shows. Right. Basically, we got our, 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 our ship sort of uh, the battened down for a couple of months, and then we started doing live shows. And live shows gave everything immediacy. Right. And then, then I knew, oh, I know how to do this show now. You have to do it with, with immediacy and with urgency and all those things that we took to the old work through the character, yes. but now I just have to say it as myself. And really, part of it was trusting Tom and trusting the writers and knowing that I didn't actually have to um, steer the ship so tightly. They know what they're doing, and right. they, they know um, the kind of comedy and satire I like, and that trust paid off in the show we're doing now. Yes, it did. Yeah. When we come back... More with young Stephen Colbert. That's exciting. <laughs>